most of us don't think too much about the plants that we walk over or drive past, but plants are the foundation of everything, feeding and providing homes for all animals, including us. This is spreading hedge parsley. So you'll see they have loads of little spikes and they latch onto any passing animal or person and that's how the plant spreads. This pointed seed is shepherd's needle, whose leaves were used in salad for many years. The seeds of some arable plants can lie dormant here in the soil for many years and then all they need is a bit of ploughing and a break from the spraying and they burst back into life. This is our biodiversity bank account. England is farmland, three quarters of our land. So looking after wildlife means looking after farms. This landscape has been created by a partnership between soil, plants and farmers, where the role of people as part of nature is so important. Having the margins around the arable fields, you've got a buffer strip for wildlife to live in. You've got your birds feeding off the insects through the summer months, but also you've got seed heads set for the winter for the birds to feed on as well. And birds are natural pest control, disease control. People are actually starting to recognise that your own well-being doesn't just come from earning good money, it comes from essential happiness and time in nature. Who isn't happy sat in a field of flowers? <laughs> How can you not smile? <laughs> It's a seriously hard life being a farmer, under intense pressure to feed a nation and at the mercy of unpredictable weather. But it's our farmers who can protect England's essential wild diversity. These little plants are the foundation upon which the English countryside thrives, and they are the fastest declining plants in the country because most farms no longer leave wild field margins. Back from the Brink are working with farmers all over England to bring back wild margins. You can be part of the solution. Find your local wildlife friendly allotments and farms in town or in the country and discover which awesome plants and animals live there. from the Brink is one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever undertaken. It's aiming to save 20 species across England, all of which are nearly extinct. It is the first time ever that so many conservation organisations have come together with one focus, and the power of collaborating like this is really beginning to make things happen. Much of the success, of course, is down to the local people. So far, over 2,000 people have volunteered to help Back from the Brink. This amounts to over 4,000 days or 10 years of working days given for free to protect our wildlife and wild places. Incredible.